Here comes a mix of beauty, brains, and brawn. McCool is simply flawless. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Palatka, Florida, Michelle McCool. The first ever Divas Champion in WWE history. Driven by faith, heart, and soul with a mean streak even longer than her legs. Yeah, Michelle McCool is used to standing tall in more ways than one. Michelle McCool told me that she's surrounded by a division that's jealous of her success and leadership. That's some real talk right there. Ah, more like real egotistical and delusional. And from Hollywood, California, Selena! And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. A determined look on her face. She knows how to prove herself in the women's division. And with this match officially underway, we should see quite the fight from her in this one. Oh yeah, she's proven that. For better or worse, she's not the type to give up easily. Some call it stubbornness, but she believes it's absolute resilience. She's definitely not the type to give up easily, that's for sure. Sends her to the outside. What is she thinking here? Oh, the old wrecking ball drop kick. Risking it all and able to connect like a holding missile. Kick, kick on the mark. Oh man, drop kick. McCool falling victim to a surge of attacks here. Michelle might be feeling a bit rattled. She needs to stop saying she's going to bring it and actually deliver on the promise. Out of the floor. Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. She sent back in under the ropes. Looking to take flight here. From the top. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Oh, oh, oh. Gosh. Counters. This could be an opportunity. <laughs> Trying to debilitate the capability. Can she do it here? She gets a quick kick out there. Well, she thought she saw a chance to gain the fall, but obviously was mistaken. She scores big with the counter. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. And look at this. What an axe kick. Will that overtake McCool? Oh my God! Big mistake there, Corey. Oh, she knows that now. Big forearm. And McCool gets stonewalled. Oh, he catches a kick to the face. And flying into the corner. Got her where she wants her. McCool turns that around. And finds a counter. Not where you want to be right now. Oh. Perched in a dangerous position up top. 
It's about to get worse from here. What a superplex. And look at her feeding off the WWE Universe's energy. No way. Somersault plancha. A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. We might be close to the end. Yeah, not looking good at all. She turns it around. She's able to fight McCool off. Oof. Where's the haymaker? Roundhouse kick on the mark. Whip back into the ring. Kick gets caught. Back and forth from these competitors. Set up for a second time. Sent a message with that one. The cover! It wasn't enough. She kicked out. You have to wonder, what more does she have left? We have reached a whole other level here. A big opportunity falling through their fingers. You've got to continue fighting and hope your next big move is the last one. Russian leg sweep. Steered clear of that. Ouch. Suplex. Crashing down with the centaur. Taking flight. Body splash. Boom. The pillars of this building must be crumbling from the energy these fans are putting out right now. These superstars are giving it their all, and this audience is giving it right back. She's trying one more time. Next kick! What an exclamation mark right there. Big down low. Now, oh, into a power bar. Can she shut the door? And now will about to do it, folks. Here is your winner, Selena! And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. Michelle McCool might just throw a fit here. Plenty of frustration being felt right now, I'm sure. Here they come. It's the Heart Foundation. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 516 pounds, Bret Hart and Jim Neidhart, the Heart Foundation. Part of a Hall of Fame dynasty. It's always history in the making when these two team up. An absolutely lethal pairing. This is going to be good. And their opponents at a combined weight of 461 pounds. The tag division has been extremely competitive as of late. Every duo looking to show why they run things around here.
Hart Foundation out here tonight in full force. Such a dynamic team, making every bit of offense count when they're in the ring. Oh, yeah. It's so crisp, so effective. This is the excellence of team competition. It's no wonder so many groups count the Hart Foundation as a key inspiration. This should be an interesting matchup. And as their opponents, you need to cut the ring in half. You're facing a team with great synergy. Keeping them apart will be essential to success. Isolation is certainly a key to neutralizing any great tag team. Ouch. Punch! The chemistry of the Heart Foundation challenge there. Now that's a bell ringer. Goodness. Well placed elbow drop. Oh! Oh, perfect kick. Answering back. He's got the answer for that one. Oh, point of the elbow finds the mark. Retaliation from the hitman. Placing them into the corner. Hitman never saw that coming. Legs caught. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. He's got it. Oh, oh, oh. let's get it on. Back elbow smash. Nothing fancy. Oh, look at this. Raining right hands. Not stop blows. Oh, a drop kick down low. Referee might want to look at that one again. Nice single leg takedown. A leg drop across the knee. Very effective. Ooh. And that hard power being met in kind there. He's getting as hard as he's giving. Underhook applied. Side effect. Kick to the gut. Twist of fate. Can the anvil come back from that? Trouble, double the damage. Ooh. Wow, springboard attack. Uh oh, jawbreaker. Call the dentist. He's positioning himself, closing in. Look at this. Slingshot sent on. Yes. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent. No way! Slingshot sent on, yes! Pinpoint precision right A target. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Ooh. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Able to give him the slip. Specifically targeting the leg. Oh! Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Inverted it. Atomic drop not finished yet, Byron. Oh, how about the leg drop combo? Kick to the gut. Twist of fate. Can he take advantage of this? Clean tag for his partner. And he sends him into the corner. Neidhart getting set up. Press 
Chelsea down with a huge senton. A game-ending move. Checkmate. This packed house is going absolutely nuts. They don't want this match to end. Oh. He's heading up top. Thinking big. We're going to finish it off. Swanton bomb. The end is in view. Boom. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Man, that has got to feel good. Sweet, sweet victory. Here are your winners. This loss seems to have rocked the Hart Foundation. The Hart Foundation, no success, but tonight was just not their night. I have no doubt they are going to learn from this one, though. Hollywood is in the house. Corey, is it just me, or is this entire arena shaking? And his opponent, representing the NWO from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 302 pounds, Hollywood Hogan. Hulkamaniacs, read it and weep. Hollywood will rule forever. It's got to feel good knowing you've always got the NWO at your back. One of the most influential factions of all time. All thanks to Hogan's leadership. I'm not going to lie, the T-shirt's pretty cool. Well, who wouldn't want to look like Hollywood? Repping the black and white, Hollywood is in the building. Folks, this is a Hogan who's willing to do whatever it takes to get the win. Hopefully the referee keeps a close eye on him in this one because he's surely going to be a handful. And then we have one of the most technically proficient grapplers of all time, Kurt Angle. Angle's as smart in the ring as he is physical. He knows the mat game inside and out. Angle loves to overpower opponents and tie them up in knots. He's made a career out of using his superior athleticism to just dismantle the opposition. Who won the race? Charlie's horse. Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. Just knocked right out with that. No way. Cross body to the floor. No sign of hesitation. And that risk gained big rewards. 
Nice amateur takedown all the way over. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Just Kurt using his natural born talent. Kurt Angle is one of the greatest pure wrestlers of all time. Corey, what's needed to defeat him in this one? Maintain separation. Avoid prolonged contact. Angle's superior wrestling acumen means he can use an opponent's own body weight and momentum against them. Uh-oh. No! Oh, what a close line. Oof. He thinks he has it. Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of it. Look at this. Just unloading. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Oh, no, they're lights! Angle's got him locked up. One. Angle's not done. Here's another two. Perhaps a trifecta. And with that move, Angle just mustered up every ounce of intensity he could. Scoop slam! Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. Ooh. Kick lands. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at his aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. And Alid just got put on Angle's intensity there. Hollywood using all of his power to dismantle his opponent. He's able to sidestep there. What an incredible moonsault. Oh, what a clubbing blow. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. He breaks the ref's count after one. Wow, I thought this was over. Oh, God! No! Slingshot sent on to the outside. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle, the old faithful, the Angle Slam. Kurt Angle picks the leg, looking to end this hit. And the rope forces the break. Great effort, though. Yeah, her. Angle showing plenty of intensity here. This can't be how Hollywood envisioned tonight going. Great wherewithal on the counter. And that holds Hogan back. Oh, Ooh, stiff uppercut. Hogan winning that exchange. Slam. Oh, what a close line. And now, oh, he gets what he deserves for all that gloating. Powerless position to be in right now. coming. Vicious right forearm. Kurt Angle avoids that one. Neck breaker! To the face. What a redirect. Oh, elbow right to the bread basket for their troubles. Kurt setting it up. You have 
to respect these men for taking it to the next level. This one's becoming too close to call. Yeah, it's hard to predict how this one will end. He turns it around. Nice takedown. Ooh. Oh, one step ahead of Angle. Here's the cover for the win. And a strong kick out in one. Still not enough to put him away. Angle switches it up. Oh, man. Hollywood got a pretty good cut from that one, too. An overbearing assault on Hogan now. And I don't see Angle relenting anytime soon. Uh-oh. Way too oh, diving moonsault! Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Oh, look at this. German suplex. And not done yet. Another German. Three German suplexes. Look at him in the ankle lock. The ankle lock. The ankle lock. Rolls through. Able to escape the ankle lock. Oh, and I rake. That's not right, but effective. The WWE Universe can't believe what these Warriors are doing to one another. Everyone's fired up. What a battle. Some serious harm. Oh, close line. Nice right hand. Angle's got a 16, the ankle lock, the ankle lock. The official lap, and what a win for Kurt Angle. Here is your winner, Kurt Angle. A triumphant victory for Kurt Angle here. I don't think Hollywood saw this coming at all. Yeah, he was clearly not expecting to be taking a loss here. Here we go, guys. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Austin, Texas, weighing in at 232 pounds, the natural Dustin Rose. The arena's buzzing, social media's buzzing, a big fight feel, and a main event level match. He is physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in his big time match. One of the most cunning minds in the business. Oh boy, 
and his opponent from Blackpool, England, weighing in at 240 pounds, the WWE European Champion, William Regal. I'll tell you, the entire career of William Regal has been predicated on commanding respect, whether it's in the ring as a competitor or whether serving as general manager for Monday Night Raw or NXT. And you're right, Byron, that William Regal forces his opponents to show him the respect that he believes he deserves. And this man with perhaps a make or break match here tonight. He wins against the champ, he writes his own ticket. He loses, he may well go back to the drawing board. No two ways about it. It's put up or shut up for this challenger tonight. And he's going against one of the great villains of this sport, William Regal. This match could be a Blackpool brawl or an all-out technical war. Whatever Regal's in the mood for tonight. Uh oh boom! Bionic elbow! Ooh, front thrust! Ooh. Oh, down by the DDT. Now he's been put on the defensive. And William Regal is so experienced. Corey, what do you do to account for something like that? Be ready for anything. Regal is like a wrestling encyclopedia, and he's a lot less nice in the ring than he is outside of it. You're going to have to deal with grit, nastiness, and a lot of veteran skills. Caught with a punch. He's returning fire. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Quick exchange of counters there. Back elbow. See, did you see that? He went right into that turnbuckle. Right here, Opponent's in trouble. Kick right to the leg. Front face lock applied into the final cut. That could finish off Regal. Cover! Two! It's over, all in a night's work. Here is your winner, the natural, Dustin Rhodes! Wrestle perhaps the perfect match, never any doubt in this win. Regal's blood is boiling right now. Now, he may be a dignified man, but he's still got a temper, especially with a result like this. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing... Check out the Lord Rider! From El Paso, Texas. Making an entrance. In at Only the way Eddie can. Eddie Guerrero! Oh, the ref better have their head on a swivel because they're going to earn their paycheck tonight. Well, I'm pretty sure the entire WWE Universe is going to get their money's worth tonight. You feel the heat? Well, Eddie Guerrero was always seen as an underdog. Granted, he would cheat on occasion to even the playing field. But hey, how can he not get behind a guy like Latino Heat? I couldn't tell you how many times I've logged into WWE Network and gone back and enjoyed and relived Eddie Guerrero's greatest moments. Truly one of my favorites to ever do it. The Barrett Barrage has arrived. And it is... <clears throat> Bad news for anyone in that ring tonight. 
Stop it, Byron. Just stop. That was terrible. I tried. And his opponent from Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, Wade Barrett. Strength, arrogance, and cunning all in equal measure. And his time at the announce desk has just made him an even smarter competitor. He's not just calling the action. He's taking notes. Wade's confidence is at a real high because he knows he's still got it. Has proven himself as a championship caliber player in WWE and not to be taken lightly. Competitors don't come much tougher than Wade Barrett. You have to watch your back going up against this man. Wade Barrett is quite comfortable throwing digits and can just pick an opponent apart with his well-placed attacks. Barrett always ruthless, so smug. Sometimes he'll let an opponent hang around in a match just so they think they have a chance. Then he pummels him. Well, I hope he has his head on a swivel. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. And his hope is starting to fade. He better think of a quick count. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. That's a counter with style. Oh, what a four. Uh-oh. What are they going to do here? How about a little? That's exactly what they were thinking, and it is in. After him. Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. Oh! With authority! Solely focused on punishing the leg. Pain must be shooting through that leg now. Going for a power slam. Slips down. Counted into an inverted DDT. He can end it here. And frustration might be starting to set in. Get out of here. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Heads out of the ring. What's next? <laughs> Boom. Nice. <laughs> oh, strong impact. Wade Barrett looked like he was knocked off his game there. Innovative display by Guerrero. Ah, crush a hamstring. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. If you either want to pose in Andy Guerrero tonight, Corey, what do you focus on to score the victory in this match? You need to adapt to Guerrero's playbook, which is a complete lack of a rule book. Be aware when he's willing to lie, cheat, or steal, and initiate proper countermeasures. Stop him from malfeasance, and know when you can perhaps get one over on Latino Heat. And still hanging on. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Oh, man. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT! Oh, man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. Barrett saw it coming. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. Oh, smash. There it might take it here. Shoulders down. Near fall. Incredible kick out from Guerrero. Eddie clinging on to life in this match. It must be demoralizing. Taking flight. again. Oh, Barrett is going to remind us of this one for a long time. That's right, Saxton, because Wade Barrett knows how to seize an opportunity.
An entrance fit for a wrestling god. And really taking his sweet time to make it to the ring. That's because he's a Hall of Famer. That's why he doesn't like you, Byron. Well, no, no, that's not true, okay? We're almost best friends. One of the longest reigning champions of the ruthless aggression era. A man whose personal wealth is matched only by his wealth of wrestling knowledge. Time to see if the wrestling god will come to play or will try to pay his way out of this one. Now, let's be honest, Cole. A good old boy like him has never backed away from a fight, whether it be in the ring or on the stock market. He looks great with all that gold on him. It's got to be great to be a double champion in WWE, but he has twice the target on his back right now. Indeed, Michael. When you're at this level in WWE, everyone is gunning for you, even your so-called allies. I think this guy has more titles than friends right now. Gentlemen, you don't get to this level of success in WWE by accident. He had the skill to earn both those titles, and I think he's got the skill to keep both titles. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. Introducing the challenger from New York City, weighing in at 290 pounds, John Bradshaw Layfield, JBL. And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in. 20 pounds, the WWE United States Champion and the World Heavyweight Champion, Chris Van Watts. Winning the United States Championship etches your name with legendary company. There is...
a certain excitement that a United States Championship match has. It's hard to nail down exactly what it is. I know what you mean, Byron. Whether defending or challenging for the U.S. title, superstars seem to go the extra mile. Oh, mm. Fujiwara armbar applied. Seems like the champ might have a pretty clear strategy in mind here, going after the arm. for something here. What are we going to see here? Oh, no way. The top rope. Are you okay? Falcon Arrow. The champion busting out the big moves, doing whatever needs to be done. Oh, the reversal by JBL. Look at this, going counter for counter. JBL bringing a hard-hitting style to this one. How do you match the power of the Hall of Famer? JBL's strategy is heavy on intimidation and aggression. You've got to be ready for him to hit you, and you have to be ready to hit him back even harder. The challenger not looking good right now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Big, big back body drop. What elevation. Staved off that attack. Oh. Dangerous knee. Oh. Up to the top rope now. Lift off. All the way. What impact. Heading up. He's thinking big. Look at the high Frog splash. But champions need to finish the job. Oh, shoulder up before three. The champion's shock is palpable. The champ will have... Uh-oh. Cross face. Oh, no. This is not where he wants to be. Yeah, yeah, but can he roll on his butt? That's it. The champ stays the champ. Here is your winner. And still, WWE United States Champion, Chris Van Watts. There he is, the champion standing tall after this defense. What a title defense by the champion. Now he left it all in the ring tonight with the type of performance that's defined his title reign. The son of a cowboy has arrived. This kid has talent. You know, I see a lot of potential in this kid, but all he does is talk about his dad. It's called respecting your elders, Saxton. It's good to see Orton looking up to the legends of WWE. And here he comes, double the gold, double the bragging rights.
One man, two championships, and the talk of an entire industry. You have got to respect the fact that this is what greatness looks like. The significance of this accomplishment cannot be overstated. He has solidified his legacy by carrying those two championships. He went through adversity, survived the wars, and in the end, there could only be one winner. And that winner holds two titles. Standing tall with both of his titles, he's not planning to let go of either one of them anytime soon. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 255 pounds, the NXT Underground Champion, Randy. And his opponent, from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion and the Hardcore Champion, Rob Van Dam! The energy in this arena is palpable. These competitors know exactly what's on the line. One of the standouts from WWE Developmental. Randy Orton looking to continue his trajectory here tonight. Yeah, Michael, it's no surprise that a third-generation superstar has been performing the way Randy has. I'm excited to see if he follows in his father's footsteps or forges his own path. We're all excited to see what path the young Randy Orton decides to take, Byron. And then we've got... From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash! We are seeing a ridiculous amount of risky moves. We'll see if it pays off. Corey, what strategy do you recommend when taking on someone with dynamic offense like Rob Van Dam? It won't be easy, but work on RVD's stamina. If you tire him out, it'll be harder for RVD to execute his most dangerous moves. So target his core and sap RVD's energy reserves. DDT! Planet! Oh, God! Knee meets face!
Orton letting his opponent know that he can't stop him now. Ooh, the champ getting put on the back foot here. Randy showing shades of his father with that attack. Well, you know, if there's one guy who isn't scared to fire up his opponent, it's RVD. See if this is the start of a rally. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment across the top rope. Set him up for the side rushing leg sweep. Randy Orton turning his back on his opponent. Such disrespect from that young man. Jarring impact. Drop kick! Great athleticism. Orton getting ready. From way up to the sky. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Big boot to the guts. Wait for it. Alabama slam. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. Up the turnbuckles. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Gets him in position. This is not going to end well for him. I guarantee you, Randy Orton, the Viper, has bad intentions here. No doubt about it, just how bad. I believe we are about to find out. Oh, no. That's RKO. Oh, got to see a new champ. I think we know what's coming next. Randy Orton! What a turn of events. One reign ends and another begins. He rose to the occasion and is adding champion to his resume.
on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 553 pounds. Batista and Rick Flaites. Evolution. The tag team division here has never been more competitive. Every team needs to deliver an emphatic message each week. This has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. Oh boy, here we go. Tag team matchup underway. There is a tremendous amount of trust that goes with being a tag team. Your future is not only in your hands, but in the hands of your partner as well. That's something to keep in mind during this one. A proverbial mud hole has been stomped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Planet face first. Oh, kick connects. Right into that turnbuckle. Reversal from Batista. Batista with a great shot. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Booty boot. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Tagged into action. his shoulder up before the two count. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Abdominal stretch. We're gonna find an escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh-oh, found it. Oh, there's a headbutt. Reversal on Mankind. Into the corner. This can't be good. Uh-oh. He's got him scouted. Oh, Ooh, what a knee. And he goes for the pin. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Shoulders down. He's able to 
kick out before two. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Oh, look at this. I have no idea. His partner's got to be thankful for that. What a save, Corey. That's what a partner's for. Oh. Batista with the tag. Batista is feeding off the WWE Universe. And gets tossed back into the mat. The bear hug squeezing the breath out of him. Ah, he's incomplete. Oh, the bear hug. And a way to get out of it is being on display right here. He got whipped into that corner. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Double axe handle smash. Batista looking a little less sure of himself than he usually does. This is certainly not what he wants. It's obvious that Mankind's trying to inflict as much pain as possible with that attack. the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Oh, this is bad, guys. Batista is... You know what, guys? I was afraid it was going to get to this point. Top rope! Superplex! Yes, tag! with some good timing here. Strong right forearm. Up on the shoulders. Down in a hurry. There's the cover. No, he gets the shoulder up. How in the world did he kick out? Fought back with a punch to the gut. Does not look good. Outside the ring, dangerous area here. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't do this. Punishment by any means necessary. Wow. Figure four on the post. Oh. Can that finish the rock off? Able to get the advantage here. Just hot shot it to the outside. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice.
The game has arrived. The cerebral assassin ready to engage in warfare. This is gonna be good. is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring, representing Evolution from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the WWE Champion, Triple H. Over the last decade, we have seen this man's dominance grow from a blue blood to a degenerate to a multiple time WWE Champion. Indeed, Triple H has solidified himself at the top of the food chain in WWE, and he has no plans on stepping down anytime soon. And I don't think anyone can take him down. From Degeneration X to Evolution, we have seen Triple H amass power in WWE, cultivating strength in numbers. But there's no more room under the learning tree of the Cerebral Assassin. Now he's all about earning the gold and glory for himself. Indeed, the game has never been more dangerous. Here comes HBK himself and his opponent from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. A true showman, Shawn Michaels is always dressed to impress. The Cerebral Assassin can turn your emotions against you. This superstar has got to be laser-focused here tonight. Extreme Rules match, you need a bit of a deranged mind to agree to these stipulations. This is where all the barriers come down. You really find out who a superstar is and what they're capable of with nothing to hold them back. Oof, you go up, that might be it. And he easily stops the ref's count. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. BK. Boom on the jaw. Elbow drop. Piercing. Attack from behind. Neck breaker. Oh, ouch. Danger is constantly lurking in a no disqualifications match. Interference has to be a concern for these superstars. While it certainly can be a factor, I don't think it should be a concern. The only thing you should be concerned about is getting whipped right in the face. My God. Bang! He's turning the tables. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Uh-oh. Cross face. The official asking it. And rolls him off. Uh-oh, captured. Driven into the knee. And that might have surprised Michaels a bit. That's the cerebral assassin revealing the high in-ring IQ of hits. Knee right to the 
midsection. Moves outside. What's the plan here? If you're looking to cause quick, sharp damage, you can't go wrong with the kendo stick. And that was a well-executed attack. Oh! Oh! Just one right after the other can't be stopped. And we might be seeing a competitor crumbling before our very eyes. Andy gets the better of HBK. Scoop slam, making it look easy. HBK quickly building momentum. And HBK is all fired up. Vicious right forearm. Being carried around with ease. Double impact. Waist lock applied, but their opponent manages to fight out with a series of punches. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. That's the flamboyancy of the heartbreak kid for you. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Oh, look out. Triple H dodges that one. Forearm club. Flapjack, face first. And he's out of there in a nick of time. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Boom, quirks a thunderous chop. Placed kick. Elbow drop. Piercing. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. Michaels pulling out all the stops. He knows now's the time to turn up the aggression. Weapon in hand saying, I'm up in the ante. Oh, just trying to pound their opponent into the ground even further. Bang! Triple H hooks the arms. This is vintage Hunter right here with the pedigree. Will that keep Michaels grounded? Is it enough? The cover. No, my, that was close. Oh, HBK not ready to hit the showers just yet. Staying in it by the skin of his teeth. And Triple H is now realizing he has a different breed of opponent here tonight. The game is going to have to pull all the stop. The game, Triple H with a couple of punches, gonna now reverse whip his opponent across the ring and deliver a knee to the face. Oh, man, landed hard. was one for the ages, Cole. The cerebral assassin was at his very best against his former mentor and best friend.